any areas of a part that contain perfectly flat horizontal surfaces are best machined using a large cutter with a flat bottom. The obvious benefits of this are that we can use a much bigger step over and still maintain a good surface finish and the overall cycle time will be reduced. So here we can see on the screen we've highlighted all the flat areas of this part using the undercut shading. Now to machine these flat areas is a very simple process in Powermill as we have a dedicated strategy for automatically detecting and machining these flat regions. The first example we're going to use is the raster flat machining strategy which you can see on the screen at the moment. So this has been machined with a 32 mm diameter with a 6 mm tip radius. So that leaves us a 20 mm flat on the bottom of the tool which allows us to use a large step over. You'll also notice in this example that wherever there's a hole in the flat surface, power mill will break the tool path and lift up and machine and not machine over that hole. Now depending on the size of the hole this may be a more efficient way of machining those flat surfaces. But if the holes are very small then it is much quicker and easier for the tool just to continue straight over the hole as if it didn't exist. Also you notice that the tool has machined down into the cavity uh, and machine the very small flat regions inside the cavity area. Now in this case we don't want to machine inside the cavity we want to machine those flat areas with a much smaller tool. So we're going to set the cavity to be collision checked so to be collision checked and not machined. So you can see the surfaces of highlighted in yellow will now not be machined. Now on the raster flat finishing toolpath we have set the option to ignore any holes. Now there you can see that the toolpath has now ran straight across that hole without lifting up. So we're going to go back now and use a much smaller tool, in this case a 12mm diameter with a 1mm tip radius, to machine the smaller flat regions inside the cavity. So again, this time we're going to set the outside of the cavity to be collision checked and only machine the cavity surfaces. We'll animate this toolpath so you can see how it machines those flat surfaces. Now we have chosen a raster strategy, but we could just as easily have chosen an offset flat machining strategy. There are areas within the cavity where this large tool, the 12 mil dams tool, could not reach. So there are still flat regions left to be machined. So within the flat finishing strategy we can also activate the automatic rest machining option. So now we're going to go down to an even smaller diameter tool. This, in this instance we're using a 4 mil diameter and we're going to reference the 12 millimeter diameter tool that we've just created. So now as well as detecting the flat areas it will also detect the flat areas that, that were not machined by the previous toolpath. So there we can see in this case we've now used the 3D offset style flat finishing and it's only machine the region in between those bosses and that vertical wall where the larger tool could not machine.